Now, this finding is really uh, quite profound because it has ramifications for everyday life. Do you remember I began by telling you that in the 1860s, when found, there is a body representation for all the muscles. There also is a representation of the body surface for tactile sensations. So for all the receptors that innovate the hand, the arm, the body surface. We thought until quite recently that the maps that we have in our brain of our body surface, of the skin, of the retina, of the muscles, are fixed. That you're born with them and you carry them throughout life. We now realize that this is not so, that they are dynamic. That as you play the piano and you practice, the representation of the hand area is expanding at the expense of other areas in the brain. This is something that Mike Mersnick showed, and it's really quite beautiful. So he examined the hand area of monkeys, and he found that if you look at different monkeys, they have different s types of representation, size of representation of the hand. And he didn't know whether this is due to the fact that there were genetic differences between the monkeys, or whether the monkeys had different tactile experience. So he had the monkeys work a bar for food for many, many days, and he found that the three fingers that were used to press the bar expanded greatly at the expense of other areas of the brain. 